Anyone who has worked with electricity has sometimes crimped a terminal to a piece of wire. Normally, a manual crimper is used, which applies the necessary tension to strongly clamp the cable inside the barrels of the terminal. In industry, power for presses are used, which crimp terminals by the thousands every hour. Inside a mechanical press, the most usual thing is to find a heavy flywheel driven by an electric motor and a belt. The flywheel acts as a hammer, which stores the energy of the motor and then releases the energy suddenly to apply a force of several tons on the terminals or whatever part is being stamped. This is similar to the action of a hammer while hitting a nail. The hammer stores energy when being accelerated downwards and then stops suddenly when it comes into contact with the nail, releasing a much greater force than originally applied, but only for a fraction of a second. The elements of a mechanical press are an electric motor, a mechanical clutch, which can be triggered by an electrical device, a crankshaft, a connecting rod, and a ram which goes up and down, providing the necessary blow to execute the work. When the press starts running, the motor begins to turn the flywheel. The heavy flywheel stores a lot of energy. When a part is going to be punched or crimped, the mechanical clutch couples the flywheel to the crankshaft, whereupon it turns and brings the ram down suddenly, which in turn moves special tools in order to crimp the terminal barrel with the proper pressure and shape for an efficient and lasting connection. These tools ride along some metal guides, so they always fit perfectly one inside the other. This is basically the way an industrial mechanical press works. I hope this video can be useful to you. Thanks for watching and please Subscribe to my channel.